वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे आई कॉन टेल यू अबाउट द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड द वर्किंग ऑफ ए सिंक्रोनस जनरेटर सो फर्स्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अबाउट द स्टेटमेंट कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड द वर्किंग एंड द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ए सिंक्रोनस मोटर सो लेट स्टार्ट दीडियो स्टेट फर्स्ट वी विल सी द स्टेटमेंट वट इज द स्टेटमेंट एंड ए सी इलेक्ट्रिकल मोटर इन विच एट स्टेडी स्टेट द रोटेशन ऑफ द शेफ्ट इज सिंक्रोनस विद द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द सप्लाई करेंट इज कॉल्ड सिंक्रोनस मोटर what is this statement we will see the working you will understand the statement also and here uh, this is the construction of the synchronous uh, machine if we have the difficult constructions but it is the simplest construction as well so it has a dc supply plus minus signs and the rotor which rotates in the middle part of the machine and here the outside part which is also what there is a stator this is the outer frame this is made up of cast iron now let us um, see the two main components of the uh, const, uh, synchronous generator which is a stator and the rotor we have already discussed about stator and the rotor in the induction motor as well as the uh, three phase uh, induction motor and the dc machines also so let's see about the brief about the stator and the rotor stator is the stationary part and the rotor is the rotating part and the stator is laminated why do we laminate you can give me in the comment section why do we laminate we laminate because to reduce eddy currents very good has field windings made up of copper in the rotor okay there are two types of synchronous motors actually there are two types of synchronous motor one is salient pole synchronous motor and another one is non salient pole synchronous motor if in the question if they ask about what are the different types of the synchronous motor explain then you should give these two points otherwise this point is neglected or you can add it to a question as a extra point for more credits okay now we will see the working of the synchronous motor synchronous motor uh, converts electrical energy to mechanical energy with synchronous speed we know that the synchronous speed formula is ns is equals to 120 f by p where ns is the synchronous speed f is a frequency p is a number of poles operates by three phase dc is applied okay this is all about the light light behavior of the uh, synchronous speed motor and here the two poles are present here here another outside frame poles are present which is north pole and south pole one uh, we give a uh, power to this synchronous stator uh, uh, sorry rotor which is present inside the motor it will starts to rotate okay when it reaches to north and north poles it ripples as north and north poles ripples with each other south and south poles ripples with each other and whereas when it rotates to in this direction that is here south it will come and here north it will come it both will attract each other and the rotor starts to rotate that is uh, uh, sorry the rotor won't rotate that it uh, fluctuates here in this direction uh, as south is attracted by the north and north is attracted to south okay now as they are attracted to each other they are interlocked we have uh, now Uh, we will interlock this point that we can see i have what i have explained it is given here and uh, interlocking of the south and north poles takes place after interlocking given dc motor separated with the shaft the here uh, given dc motor is separated with the shaft this the central part is called the shaft you know already this is separated by the shaft then rotor rotates continuously with synchronous speed this is what all about the synchronous generator what is the main important of the synchronous generator is uh, it rotates first we will fix it to uh, uh, north and south poles then by giving dc supply to the shaft it starts to rotate okay after starting rotation when it reaches uh, in the south and north poles attracts and north and south poles attracts after that we interlock north and south poles then after the interlocking we will remove the dc supply so that the fluctuations takes place and the motor starts to rotate in a synchronous speed this is all about the synchronous motor now we will see the main applications of the synchronous generator are the constant speed applications drive shaft fans blowers generators line shaft centrifugal pumps compressors 
reciprocating pumps, rubber, paper mills, etc. These are some of the applications of the uh, synchronous motor. So, this is all about the synchronous motor and its generation. We have already discussed all four chapter units in the BWA topics. So, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, don't forget to click the bell icon. Every student come and watch these videos and go. But no one clicks the bell icon and subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe, friends. It will use a hope to me to create a new videos on the content. So, Please uh, subscribe and click the bell icon friends. Thank you.